Okay, good afternoon, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. It is Sunday in Ibiza. It's very quiet because everything is finished. Everyone's gone home, so it's just me and Cindy left. And we're starting our good routine. We're going to the gym every day together. But first, we need to open this box because it's a surprise. Surprise, I don't know, eat, food, food. or what? She doesn't Drink know what it is. Or vitaminas. Okay. I think vitamins. Yes. Biggest order ever from Ghost. So, we have pump. We have pre-workout, legend. We have this, which is what I've been most excited for. Max Tunin, strawberry, ba straw bango margarita. Very excited to wow. try this. It's okay. Multivitamins, wow. fish oils. Me today, just drink water. I'm gonna drink this one today. Are you having some? Yes, I'm feeling more uh, itchy. Itchy. It's very yeah. the tingly, hands tingly. And the body, crazy energy. It's good. Yes. You like it? Okay, it's too now much, we're gonna. Baby. Way too much. We're gonna do a giveaway, right? I'll do a giveaway on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. Use my code L O U I S for 20% off everything on Ghost. And I'll do, after this video goes live, I'll do a giveaway on Instagram because there's no way that I'm gonna use all of this. It's literally impossible. So. You know? Little petite girls like Cindy, I recommend probably only one scoop because it is quite strong and it's the best pre-workout in the game. That's why you should use my code and get some. So Cindy's only doing one scoop today. I do two. And Cindy's gonna do hers in the shaker because it's not ladylike to, to dry scoop. Mm. It's come on, fruta, the yes. sabor. Strawberry and banana. Margarita. Mm. Only 10 minutes, I'm feeling my body energy. Yeah. It's very fast. Yeah. Why every single day and the door, the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally, normally whenever we come to this gym, there's always a problem at the door with our bands or something isn't working. So the pre-workout, we always take it in the car before we go to the gym. And then Cindy's standing there whilst we're trying to fix our bands and she's feeling the pre-workout and it sends her a bit crazy. Right, I let's like go, it. vamos. Okay, so me and Cindy are literally the only people in the whole gym. There isn't anyone upstairs, there isn't anyone downstairs. What's back in Espanol? Esto. What is it? Espanol? Espalda. Espalda. Uh -huh. Espalda. Y vamos a hacer muchas, dos máquinas o tres máquinas. Three machines? Yes. Train in the back? Yes. Show me go like this. Put it there. Yeah. No, no, other way. Right, wait. Oh my god. Yeah. Six. Me and me, no, man. it's not. Seven. Who are you, me? Class day. Zumba. Zumba. Okay.
Sorry. We are ready for the Tindos. Yeah. Oh, we yes. We'll take this off. In Madrid together. Close no, the party, wake on the thoughts. Wait, this is Jorge, by the way, everyone. I've Hello. got his Instagram here. I've never introduced Jorge properly, but later in the but week. We are really friends. Yeah. We've been best friends all summer. Sorry. Uh, when video together? Like yeah, tomorrow. And we love this um, week. The music we love. We love the Afro Africa, House music. Africa house. Afro House music. <laughs> More than anyone. But this week we'll film a video together. Yes. And I'm mm -hmm. to also with you. Bye, see you. Bye, Jorge. Bye, bye. See you. Um, I'll send you a message. Adios. See you, bro. Adios, amor. Okay, guys, so it's nine o'clock. We've made it to Petunia. We we're meant to be here at seven, so we're two hours late. But it's okay, we missed the sunset. Well, there wasn't really a sunset tonight, but this is one of my favorite spots in Ibiza to watch the sunset because you look over Esvedra, super, super beautiful. Highly recommend it. Tonight, they're closing for the winter, so we're coming for one last drink and some sushi. So, yes. we'll have Chin -chin. white wine from Ibiza. Salud. Pero puedes subir los videos cuando vinimos la primera vez, me trajiste la primera vez, hiciste videos de día, the day, and the Esvedra, beautiful. I'll show, I'll show them, yeah. yes. yes. I'll show you some clips of how it looks at sunset because it's literally probably the best spot in Ibiza, to be honest. Am I the first English boy you've dated? Yeah, I understand. Yes. I understand what's, the question. Okay, so what's the answer? Yes, it's my friend's Thai boyfriend, the UK. From the UK. I love it. You love it? <laughs> yes. Um, I don't like the Latinos. You don't like Spanish boys? I'm sorry. Sorry, Spanish boys. Tell me more question. I like it. Okay. <laughs> I think so. The shame. The question. No. Wait. Okay. No, no, no. You. I want the Latina fans time. Look. T tell me true. Me and you love fans. <laughs> I told Cindy. It's the king. Five years. Okay, so Cindy has like I don't know a little bit of Chinese somewhere. In, in her blood, I don't know where, but my favorite type of girl in the whole world has always been a Latina with a little bit of like Asian Chinese. Thank you, babe. And when I met Cindy, I was like, whoa, perfect. So I'm very lucky, I'm very happy. Yes, I love Latinas. Okay, so everyone asks this question. Is the language, you Spanish me English, a problem? Yes, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Okay, my, my explanation first, and then you, you explanation. Okay, so For me, sorry. it's not a problem because I always know eventually what she's trying to say, but my friends like Joel, Christoph, Darren, sometimes they don't understand what she's saying, but I can always kind of get there eventually. But it's because we've, we've been together every day for a long time, so I, I always know what she's trying to say. But if we have to have a serious conversation deep, then this is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem. But Cindy will speak into Google Translate like this. If In my English is better. It's, it's getting Net. better. Yes, it's getting better. better. Every day it's getting better. I need to learn Spanish, but I think if her English becomes perfect, which it will eventually, there'll be no problem. But there isn't really a problem. If we have an argument or we have a problem, si. then the benefit for me is that I get to read what the problem is and what the benefit is. Normally, if you're having an argument with someone, it's very aggressive and it's fighting fire with fire mm -hmm. so when cindy has a problem she writes it here and i can actually look at it digest it and then i can make a decision on what i'm going to say so actually it slows everything down a little bit and it means that there isn't as much trouble yes i think so the the problem the you may not understand the situation sometimes it's difficult communication no sometimes. it's normally sometimes the boys the girl the boyfriend on the friend Every moment, come on. I don't like, but it's difficult communication, and then this is the moment. No, everything day. It's true. Y sometimes, creo. sometimes it's a problem, but <laughs> our energy is really, really good together. I like her very much. We even got. Él es el único que me entiende. Ninguno de sus amigos me Wait. entiende con trato de hablar inglés. Es como qué. Solo digo una oración poco y ya lo sabe. Okay. Look, we got matching tattoos. The energy. Three weeks, the energy. Pero the, si. If the energy is good, that's all that matters. That's the number one thing. We can learn different languages, no problem. No, no problem. Only the moments. Yes. They don't like it, 
Yes. The moment is como defense, ¿no? Yes. <laughs> If okay. I, but es, es muy bueno porque cuando uno está muy molesta, uno dice y dice muchas cosas. Entonces, como yo no puedo decir tantas cosas en inglés porque estoy estudiando, como que me callo, o sea, no digo nada y es bueno porque lo mejor es estar tranquilo para luego decir las cosas con cabeza fría cuando no te gusta nada, algo. Okay. Entonces nunca estamos molestos. Things you don't like cosas that que I... no te gusta que hago y cosas que no me gustan que haga. Ah, you d ok, ok. okay only you two, two each. Only two. Two okay. each. Tell me. Louis, Every moment is very happy, but every joker and the every joker the people sometimes Sammy, Sammy and the boys. Sandy doesn't it's like it. It's very nice, but Sandy, uh, everything face. Joking. Yeah, because because I'm not serious, so there'll be times where, like, for example, if I'm drunk or whatever, I wind people up a little bit, or if I'm in a restaurant and someone's annoying me, I'll, I'll wind them up. It's like I've, I've wound my mom up, I've wound my grandma up, I've wound my brothers up my whole life. I'm used to winding people up, it's what I do. I've never ever been punched in the face, never. But I like to wind people up a little bit and Cindy's always concerned that one day somebody... Yes, I tell you, but sometimes the people... What? Yo, oh my God. Like for example, we call uh, everyone Sammy. Porque, porque no estoy acostumbrada a estar así con un chico que haga bromas. ¿Sabes? Entonces, sometimes it's like it, but sometimes como, no, no like it. Okay, what annoys me about I Cindy? I think so you the change the name. Sammy, no, name, me, the change name. No? It, can, it can sometimes come across as rude, but I, don't, I never mean to be rude, I'm always joking. But she doesn't like it when I'm always joking, but she'll get used to it. Because I'm not going to stop being a joker. Okay, está bien. Okay, for me? No, falta uno más. One. One now, now, no, now okay, mine okay. and then you. Okay, so if Cindy's wrong about something, most of the time she won't admit it. Never. And she'll storm off in a Everything little huff. Everything change the situation. Yes. Never, never, never admits it when she's wrong. Pero, nadie le gusta equivocarse. Never, never the people I like it the wrong. Yes, too much. What? Fuck. It's too much sleep. It's the beautiful sleep. It's Beauty beautiful. Sleep. No, it's because I like because I always need eight or nine hours sleep. So if we go to bed at four, because we've been we have a bad sleep routine. So if we go to bed at four, I wake up at twelve, and it's always too late. Because Cindy likes to wake up in the morning, do all of her shit, go to work, do everything. But since she's been with me every day, sleep until one or yes, two. Yes, I don't like it, but no more the sleep too much. Okay, sleep too much. I like it, but she's stay the life. But my life is very fast in the morning the eight sometime my work no time the lunch entonces the morning i went out fast good morning uh, 11 night y luis <laughs> too much sleep. i sleep too much chill out right what my, my last one for cindy ah uh, sí. Okay, so Cindy. my telephone. Cindy, when she's on her. Toma un poquito. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Relax, baby. I'm very hungry. Me? No. I don't remember. I like you. Angry. Okay, so Cindy, Cindy's problem, main problem is that when she goes on her telephone, she's locked into it. She she thinks about nothing else. If I'm like Cindy, 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 it's just like this, like stuck in her telephone. And sometimes in certain intimate moments, she's on her telephone, or if we're out for dinner, sometimes on her telephone, and I might as well just be sat there by myself. Like, yes, I go on my telephone too sometimes, but if I'm on my phone and she says, okay, stop, no more phone, I'll put it away. But I'm always, I can listen to what's going on around me and be on my phone, but she, yes. only the phone. I am lost. And lost. my telephone, exactly. my work, exactly. And my... So, that's it. Okay, pero estoy aprendiendo a dejar un poco el teléfono a un lado. Okay. Y está bien. Next question. Okay, next question. You question or me question? Some, someone asked you this. Yes, it's very easy. Are there any hobbies? Are there are any there... hobby you want to do with Louis? Are there any very hobbies easy. you want to do with Louis? What do you like to do with me? Since two. Okay. Travel. Travel. And the uh, exercise. Exercise. It's good because Cindy's Cindy in the gym when you were one six, sixteen. Yes. For, with your father. Before the children. Yeah, but now. Now it's very unboring. Before unboring, but alone the gym. But now it's with me. It's my, fun. With 
Louise, my pan, pan the partner, crime. partner in crime. <laughs> yes. yes, I like a girl who. My before job is the cabin crew. Yeah, Cindy was cabin crew before, so she used to travel everywhere. South eight America, country. Miami, everywhere. Eight, eight countries. Eight country: Miami, Colombia, Aruba, Curacao. Well, Panama, very I like nice. a driver. But the thing I like about Cindy is that if I say, let's go to the gym, let's go to, a, let's go on a hike, let's go on a run, let's, anything that I suggest, Cindy, even if she's never done it before, is like, okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Always. Yes. And remember the run together, 5K? One day. Yes. Run. Far too much. It was good though. Yes. Okay. Fuck. Yes. <laughs> Someone said, was it love at first no, sight? No, you fuck. Tu primero. You already answered and you said yes. Pero tu primero. Yeah, I think you it was. Story. I saw Cindy and I was like, to be honest, when I, if we're in the club and stuff, I'm always just with my friends and having fun, and I don't really care about finding girls in the Toma club. I don't mind, like I don't care to find girls in the club, to be honest. But then when I saw Cindy for the first time, I was like, yes, it was love at first sight. Why? Because I never saw anyone like you before. Yes, Every single day together. Why you, friends, die looking love? Why? I don't know. Very beautiful. But you're in it because Cindy always smiles. She never stops smiling. Yo solo recuerdo que se acercó un chico al lado mío en el backstage de coffee y me empezó a hablar, a preguntarme como, are you living in Ibiza? Y yo, yes, sometimes, the summer. Yeah, but wait, me, it's a funny... <laughs> y me, funny never, never the face, but no sé, yeah, two, the funny two thing minutes, is, I look at the face y boom, the kiss. Kiss. After two minutes. I think so me, easy, easy. <laughs> 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 wow, cuántas empanadas wait, wait. Uh, me he comido yo. Ok, las empanadas es un plato. Is is the food culture in my country? Es un plato de mi cultura venezolana. Es como similar a un bocadillo en, en Madrid, un swat, un, un club house en Estados Unidos o your country similar. Uh, in, in empanadas in the UK would be similar to like a Cornish pasty. It's like pastry, but theirs isn't pastry, it's fried. And then it's got meat inside, or it's got vegetables inside, or it's got beans inside. Empanadas are literally unbelievable. Too much Every, cold? Everybody, <laughs> yes. Mucho frío. Mucho frío. I hope you guys are enjoying this QNA because I'm actually enjoying it myself. Blanket, cobija. Cobija. Okay, ready? Okay, next question. What? Is the puppy's name? Wow, what? Okay, puppy name? Yes. Amor? Yes. Two, okay. two names. Two names. Ben, ben, love. Amor. So either it's Ben, I think when he's bad, bad, Ben, Ben. When he's good, Amor. Amor, yes. Yeah. So Amor is love in Spanish. When are you bringing Cindy to the UK? I would love to bring Cindy to the UK. I literally. Can't wait for my mom and dad to meet Cindy, my mother and father to meet you. Yes. Very nice. But right now, I can't leave Spain because I'm trying to sort out a visa, so it's a little bit of a problem. In my passport, to meet and you. And Cindy also can't leave Spain time. because she lost her passport, and now she needs to get another passport sent from Venezuela to Spain. I think so. Spain. Maybe. I think so. Maybe one year. In one year. In one okay. year. Okay. Hopefully not. Hopefully not one year. Primero Venezuela. Hopefully fast. Together. Yeah, but first we have to go to Venezuela together, maybe to pick up her passport. I don't know. We'll yes. see what happens. It's complicated. I'm stuck here, she's stuck here. Everything's okay, fine. Okay, this is a good one. Bueno, mi pasaporte porque está vencido. O sea, tengo, pero como se venció, es muy largo el trámite por mi país. Pero todo está bien. See if you understand this one. What do you do for a job? So, everyone still asks me this question. My job is to make YouTube videos, to make Instagram content, sponsored posts, I run ads in my videos, that's how I make my money. When you guys click my links and you use code Louis, that's how I get paid, that's how I make a living. So that's why it's very important that you guys use my link. It means a lot to me, it means the world to me that I can live this life and you guys are just using my links and that's how I make my money. So I'm very, very lucky, I'm very fortunate, but I worked my ass off for five years to get in this position. Cindy, ¿qué haces para un trabajo? Ok, ¿qué hago para trabajar? ¿O qué trabajo? Eh, tengo una tienda de estética en Madrid. Mi trabajo es estética, hacer pestañas, cejas, tatuajes de maquillaje. Y mi otro trabajo es más que todo enseñar, como dar formaciones, como cursos 
para que otras chicas hagan lo que yo hago y puedan tener un emprendimiento en su vida. Pretty school now in Ibiza. Um, and then in Ibiza, so that that her two clinics in Madrid. And then and Ibiza, Ibiza now she also collaboration the clinics, the lashes brown, and only to match the clients. Yeah, and also the facial cleanses, Botox, dentist, Pero everything, only massage. the clients to match como DJ, influencer, the to match flower. Yeah, Cindy's really good because this is another reason why I love Cindy is because she's very switched on. She's fast. She's meeting. She meets the DJs. She invites them to the clinic to get a facial, to get a massage. Footballistas, the footballs. With, um, ¿Cómo se dice? Esposas, novia, girlfriend de futbolistas. Girlfriends of the footballers. She's Italia. very, very good at getting high-end clients. <laughs> okay. She's, Next she's question. smart. She's smart. That's why I like her. I love the sushi de Petunia. Are you two boyfriend and girlfriend officially? Yes. We are officially Official. boyfriend and girlfriend One for nine, nine days. Last Friday, it's now Sunday. The Last displays. Friday, we were here at Petunia at a table over there. <laughs> and I asked Cindy. And the question. For the third time, Trez, Trez time to be my girlfriend. The other two times she said no. And I said, if I ask you again on the third time and you say no, it's. We may as well give up. <laughs> yes, official 10, 10 years. The ten girlfriends, days. 10 days. Too much dates? <laughs> Two months. But we've been together. <laughs> now we've been together for 11 weeks, every day. So it's quite quite Yay. intense, quite fast, but. Drink, 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 drink. I like it. More wine. La gente dirá, wow, ¿por qué? Después de dos meses y varios días y varias citas, le he dicho que sí. Yo creo que una chica para poder... Sorry. Yo creo que para una chica poder elegir bien su futuro novio, debería de conocer bien al chico y estar un tiempo con él en lo bueno y en lo malo. Entonces, así puede saber si es para futuro, no, que decirlo rápido, entonces tener tres o dos meses conociéndose vale la pena porque así tú ves ese tiempo invertido y el valor que tú tienes con él y él tiene en ti, entonces te aseguras de que todo vaya a ir bien en el futuro y, y luego. Gracias. I don't know what okay, she's saying. Question. I don't know what she's saying, but basically, oh my God. everything moved very, very fast, and everything was very intense. After three days together, we went to Mallorca together with Mike and Matt and everyone. So everything was very fast, very intense. But I have no regrets. That's how I like it. Why no publico a Luis en mis redes sociales? Yeah. The question: Why does Cindy not post me on Instagram? Okay. Three. Three reasons. Yeah. La primera. First reason. Why? Eh, me gusta tener mi vida privada privada, ¿sabes? No me gusta eh, que la gente vea mucho de mí porque soy un poco sensible, sensible a uh, de comentarios de las her, personas. Her, her personal life is very it's personal to her, her family, me, everything. She has lots of people from who are jealous, making comments, making opinions, and she doesn't want the drama and the stress. Tom, because my okay, ads, I only did respect no very fast, the new boys. Yes, it's true. She was with her ex, and to be honest, the same as me, when I, when I broke up with Francis, I didn't post any girls on my Instagram at all because I didn't want to be disrespectful to Frances, I didn't want to rub anything in her face and sí, I didn't want I didn't respect, want to yeah no? I didn't want to hurt her feelings. I don't want her to think that I don't care for her or, or anything like that. It's just out of respect that you don't okay. you don't show your life with someone new. But with Cindy y la, y la tercera razón? Wait 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 the reason why I show everything with Cindy is because it feels natural. And my job is to show my life. Yes it's you it's my job. So I'm no, when job. I feel the energy of course I've went on dates with so many girls and I don't show anything. But with Cindy, it feels very natural. Her vibe is good. She's good at talking on camera and it feels natural to show Cindy. It's my job. Third reason. 
la tercera y last reason is bad como que o sea quiero disfrutar y estar feliz no estar como every moment de teléfono y etiquet y I want, no me importa que la gente vea lo que yo hago o que yo tenga un nuevo chico porque no me interesa eso, me interesa es como disfrutar el momento y ya está ya luego more time too much the time together is very nice and the only poquito importante is creo que la vida no es solo en Instagram no creo que la vida es disfrutar sin que la gente vea lo que haces es tu trabajo ok but pero no no me gusta she's already explained she's already explained the reasons to me I don't think that because I post her I don't think that she has to post me it doesn't I don't care. I post Cindy because I want to post Cindy because I'm comfortable with doing it and because I'm. Creo que lo hago más para cuidarnos, no para Carrefour you me. No, you're careful. Yes, para cuidarnos más. Lo hago yo porque a veces hay gente que es muy malintencionada y gente que es muy celosa o chicas que son muy malas y chicos que son muy malos. Entonces como como que no tienen el mínimo respeto hacia ti y como que no sé. Pienso. It's the same as if I post my friends from home, my close friends from home on my Instagram story. If I post Joel, Joel never posts anything on Instagram. Just because I post someone on my Instagram, no, no, wait, let me finish. Just because I post someone on my Instagram. Perfect. Oh my God. Gracias. Thank you. Just because I'm posting someone on my Instagram all the time doesn't mean that I'm expecting them to take videos of me, post me. I don't. It's my job. I like to take videos of people, take pictures of people, and share my life and show what we're up to. I don't expect Joel or Jake or Darren or Christoph to always take photos and videos of me and show show me off. It, it makes no difference to me. It's my job. That's why I do it. Yes, it's your job. Respeto, pero creo que sí. Look and the chains, no? Mi example. But I don't want you to change. Ejemplo. Exacto, example. Mi everything, Louis, Louis, video, Louis, it's que in my Instagram. Eh, talking you, the love fan, or the taking you eh, people. Oh no, Cindy is very important, but now everything moment you Louis, Louis, Louis Instagram, no? Yes. O sea, opinan diferente. <coughs> si yo todo el tiempo estoy publicándolo, lo estoy etiquetando, entonces la gente ya no está preguntando por qué Cindy no lo hace en redes sociales. Pero si yo lo hiciera, publico cada momento que él come, que él está conmigo, que hacemos cosas, entonces la gente diría como que yo soy una aprovechadora, que yo quiero la fama, ¿no? De fama. Yes. You flower with me in my Instagram. Yes. Pero no es true. Is the chain a sample? Yes. But in todo momento la gente va a criticarte y no me importa. That's... I don't care. Qué chismosos son. Chismosos. Chismosos es como como que I want the life privada. Chismoso. What is they? Cindy wants a private life, but unfortunately my life not yes, private. Yes, but they they name the people. Chismoso, chismosos. Gossips. It's true. People are allowed to make assumptions. How many people finish the ask the pregunta? One question left. Mm -hmm. But Cindy says about gossips. I don't care about gossips. You can make your own opinions. I try and show you as much of my life as possible. I'm very open. I'm very I honest. I love you. I love all of the nice comments. It makes me very happy. It makes Cindy happy. Yes. And Tomorrow you guys. I'm happy. Every day, up the video, you two, Luis, read the comments. Me, I'm always reading. Even though I don't reply, I'm always reading all the comments. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Look, look, look. It's always very nice. Okay. No, baby, too much question. No, one more. Only one more. Thank you. I wanted to everything question, please. You want to answer all of them? Yes. And the video two part. Can you imagine a future with Cindy? Te imaginas un futuro con Cindy? Mm-hmm. Yes, otherwise I wouldn't be with Cindy. The punk. How do you say punk cool in English? Exactly. Really? And the question? 
Oh my god, you love fun, it's very crazy. The question, no, tell me the question. Yes. Oh my god, ¿Cómo, ¿cómo se llama? What happens next now Abifa is finished? Do you move to do you move to Madrid or what happens? What happened, Louis? So the plan is we'll go together between Madrid and Ibiza. When Cindy needs to work, we go to Madrid. I can work from Madrid. The thing is, I always need someone to be with me to help me film. I need someone to hold the camera when I'm on my crutches, at least for the next month. And then in the winter, I'm hoping we can travel around Spain. We can take my car on the ferry to Barcelona. We can go to Andorra to ski. Cindy snowboards, I ski, so we're going to spend a lot of time in Andorra yeah. because I literally love skiing more than anything in the world. Hey, happy New Year. Happy New Year. I think because I can't leave and she can't leave, we'll probably spend everything together. Okay, when? When? In Madrid or Ibiza? Okay. Or wherever. Nice. I in like Barcelona. The Two more, dos more, and then finish. No, no, five more. Oh my god. So, somebody asks. They want to know the full story of how we met. The answer to the question is, me and Joel were doing a villa shoot, a real estate shoot, and I felt very happy, I felt very productive. I was, I was feeling good, it was a Saturday night. We just did the best job ever for a client. And then I said to Joel, let's go to Black Coffee. Joel was like, no. Jake was like, no. So then I went with my friend Sophie, who was a concierge, she had a client table in Black Coffee and I was like, so me and Sophie just went together and Sophie said, do you want to go to the DJ booth? And I was like, well, I don't know if we'll be able to get in. And she was like, normally it's no boys, no boys are allowed in the DJ booth. But I was like, Cindy's dropped that chopstick. Normally no boys in the DJ booth. But I somehow managed to swindle my way in, like what I do with everything in life. Got in the DJ booth. Met Black Coffee, met Black Coffee's manager. I'm speaking to Black Coffee's manager for like half an hour about how much I love Black Coffee, how I come here every single week. And then he's, we become instantly very good friends. And then he says, this girl over there keeps looking green, at you. Green, green. Keeps looking at you, which is very nice. And I was like, wow. Very happy, smile. Oh yeah, the thing I noticed most was always smiling, always smiling. And I was like, wow, she seems amazing. So I'm quite drunk and obviously confidence is high and then I just walk over start speaking to her and because Cindy, when Cindy's drunk her English is literally perfect your English is very only good drew. Yeah. only drew and the confidence because yeah exactly our confidence is high so our English is really good so we're speaking after like two or three minutes no two <laughs> after two or three yes after two or three minutes <laughs> me and Cindy are two. kissing we're kissing and then she loves black coffee, I love black coffee, more drinks, more drinks, more drinks. And then eventually we go home and we're up all night talking. And what do you want? <laughs> what? Okay, so. So we're up all night talking, telling each other everything, going crazy, very good. Gracias. Thank you. More chopsticks. Uh huh. Entonces? So after high, we end up going home together. We've been kissing all night, very happy. And then we stay on the balcony, play music, talk all night. Champagne. Go to bed, wake up in the morning after like three hours sleep. The morning I, have a, champagne. I had a bottle of champagne from the client who we were filming the night before. So I was like, let's crack this open. And then we went to Mike's birthday at Blue Marlin. And then the next day we went to Leo. Cindy went to Madrid for like 12 one hours, day. one day. Went to Madrid, came back. Then we went to Leo, to and then the day after Leo, she came back to me. Yeah, she was meant to stay in Madrid, but she came back for me. And then after Leo, the next day we go to Mallorca for a week with Matt and Rob and everyone. Yes, too much now. And then together. everything is just very, very fast and intense from there. And then we end up spending like two or three months together every day. Yo a ese momento estaba como solo en trabajando y estaba super tranquilo en plan que siempre iba al backstage, pero never, never. And the boys never, always, and my friends, con mis amigas, o sola. Sammy. Pero en ese momento estaba sola y no sé, lo vi y fue como amor a primera vista. Pero yo estaba en una mesa con mis mejores amigos. 
con unos amigos de Madrid y me aburrí y me fui al backstage y lo Madonna. conocí. Hi, Hi Darek! Come here, come here, come here. Darek! I love you so much. <laughs> Crazy, eh? Crazy danger. Look, look, the cuernos. Ah. Teima. Ah. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Angie, nice to meet you. Bien. I'm Louis. Nice to meet you. Hey, baby. Okay, guys, we're gonna end the Q&A there. Goodbye. Why? Nice to meet you. You get a finish. Finished. Yeah, yeah. We'll end the video probably tomorrow because Darren and, Too and his friend are here and we're gonna have some bro, drinks. Good thing there, bro. Yes. <laughs> okay, so hope you enjoyed it. We'll speak tomorrow.